Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys Icy. Now, Icy is an alternative to Cydia, and it does the same exact thing. It allows you to install dead packages. So take, for instance, something like SB settings, or just anything that you can normally get inside of Cydia, you can install with Icy. Now, Icy was created way back when, around the days of iOS 3.x. It was made as an alternative for Cydia, and it was supposed to be faster than Cydia, and it actually was a lot faster than Cydia back then, because as most of you know, Cydia was extremely extremely slow before it got the newer Cydia update. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get the new and improved version of Icy. It was brought back to life. So I'm just going to be doing a quick speed comparison and basically just an overview of Icy. Now I have my iPod Touch 4th generation here and my iPhone 4 here. Now I'm going to respring both of them using SB settings just to prove to you guys that the device does not have anything else running in the background, slowing it down. So also, I will have a repo down below in the more info where you can get Icy. It is from the iSpazio repo. You can also get it from Frost repo. However, I highly recommend getting it from the iSpazio repo instead. So I'm just going to go ahead and load up Icy on my iPod Touch 4th generation here and Cydia on my iPhone 4 here. Now, as most of you know, the iPhone 4 has more RAM than the iPod Touch 4th generation. As you can see, I have 311 or actually 312 megabytes of free RAM now on my iPhone 4 and 107 on my iPod Touch 4th generation. So the iPhone 4 has more RAM, which means it is faster. So this should be pretty interesting because I know IC is faster and it is actually running on the slower device. So I'm going to go ahead and just open IC on my iPod Touch 4th generation and also open uh, Cydia on my iPhone 4. All right, so IC is loaded and Cydia is loaded right now. Uh, basically, I'm just going to go over Icy really quick for you guys. Here is the welcome screen, and it just goes ahead and talks about it and goes into depth about uh, Icy itself. And you also get the help option. You get the frost option as well, which actually is pretty cool. It actually kind of looks like the App Store, and you can basically just get more information about different packages. Now, you can also go ahead and go to their blog. You can go to Icy on Twitter, the IRC and you also get to see what is coming soon to Icy. Now you can also read the downgrade and carrier unlock guides as well, which I found uh, are actually pretty helpful if you are a newbie to jailbreaking and you don't exactly know how to do it. Uh, and then you just get the uh, story about Icy, you get the about and credits, and you get the Icy agreement. Now that's basically it. Other than that, it's basically just really simple, super self-explanatory. You get categories down below, sources, installed, and about. Now about, you just get the about section there, and you also get the option to toggle on auto refresh on Wi-Fi, which I highly recommend doing. And then here, obviously, you just get all of the things that you have installed. Now I found that it's pretty interesting that it actually even says uh, things like home screen wallpaper, for example. Now obviously, I do not have that installed, or I did not install it in Cydia rather, it's just actually in the iOS itself. So I found that's pretty interesting. I wonder if they're actually going to change that in future versions because as of now this is just the beta version of Icy and it isn't actually the full thing yet. Also too, you get to go down to the bottom and go to sources and you get to add sources. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a really quick source uh, and as you'll notice you won't have any sources in there from the beginning so you're going to have to add a source if you actually want it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add Excelize. Alright, so once you have it added all you have to do is just hit done and then just hit refresh to update it and to actually add it. Now you cannot go inside of a repo just from the sources section at the bottom. You actually have have to go to categories and once you're in categories then you have to find that repo so for instance the iHacks repo is right there and I can go to it and then I have all of the different things from the iHacks repo here now what I've noticed is that this is a little crippled in comparison to Cydia so I'm actually going to go to the same exact repo inside of Cydia I'm just going to go to the iHacks repo you actually get the option to see which letter you're on up at the very top and that changes when you go to the next letter and as you can see now I'm on the B so it has B up there also too you get the option to easily uh, switch between all of the letters right there it's kind of a fast scrolling situation and easy for browsing you do not get that on the IC version of the iHacks repo and that stays the same for basically any repo also 
as you can see it is still refreshing the repos down here so it is still refreshing the big boss repository and it actually does take quite some time to refresh those bigger repos with more packages in them so I found that that can be quite annoying however it does it in the background you can't even really tell alright so I'm at the same package on Icy and on Cydia it is just the Apple loader bar boot logo and it is the same version it's just 1.0 so I'm going to install both of them. Uh, first of all, I'm going to get to the confirm screen on Cydia, and now I'm going to hit confirm on Cydia and install in Icy, and it will install it. So I'm just doing this test to compare which one is faster, and obviously it definitely looks like Icy is a ton faster. I actually had it off of the camera there, but as you can see, it definitely installed it faster on Icy. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do the same exact thing. I'm just going to go with the Android boot logo. All right, so now I am on the Android boot logo on both Cydia and Icy. And again, I'm going to get to the confirm screen in Cydia, and now I'm just going to hit install on both of them. So now here we go again. It is installing it on both Cydia and Icy. Now that time, uh, it actually finished faster on Icy again. However, it was at the reloading data screen on Cydia first. But again, as you can see, Icy is actually faster. And if you guys want to test out this beta version of Icy, just be sure to check out the repo that's down below and just be sure to add it inside of Cydia. Once you have it added, all you have to do is go inside of the source and then just install Icy beta. Now, I will be making a new video every time a new big update for Icy comes out or when the actual thing is out. So be sure to just subscribe, just hit that button up there to be notified and also subscribe for more great videos. Be sure to rate this video up if you liked it and let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Until next time, this is ICU signing out.